This is part B of question 10, paper 2 from the SQA specimen paper for National 5 Mathematics. In part B, we're asked to calculate the x-coordinates of the points where the graph cuts the x-axis. And in part A, we had discovered that the equation of this graph, I'll put a label on it here, is y equals 3 cos x minus 1. Where this graph crosses the x-axis, 3 cos x minus 1 must have a value of 0. The y-coordinate is 0. y will equal 0. So to do this, we must solve 3 cos x minus 1 equals 0. So let's add 1 to both sides. And let's divide both sides by 3. So this immediately tells us, let's have a wee look at the, the diagram that you're probably familiar with. Where the cosine is positive, so the angle is in, well, all of the sine, cosine, and tan are positive there, only the sine positive, only the tan positive, the cosine's positive also in the fourth quadrant. So x is in first or fourth quadrant. So we know that's, well, there's an angle between 0 and 90 and an angle between <coughs> 270 and 360. Some of you may also um, use the graph to determine which quadrant the cosine is positive in. It's above the x-axis in the first and the fourth quadrant. That's 360 there. So 270 to 360, 0 to 90, first or fourth quadrants. So we need now to find what the first quadrant angle is. The first quadrant angle is the angle whose cosine is one third. The angle whose cosine, that's cos to the minus one in most calculators, or in this calculator, it's a cos, arc cos, that's called. Um, one third, one divided by three. So the angle whose cosine is one third. Seventy point five, approximately. That's to one decimal place. Now, because we'll just be adding and well subtracting this uh, from a three hundred and sixty, we can round it at this point. There's no problem. So first quadrant angle is 70.5. So x, the value of x, we're allowed the first quadrant angle. We also need a second quadrant angle, which is 360 minus the first quadrant angle. There's the first quadrant angle, 70.5. 360 minus, or there's your 70.5 minus 360 minus 70.5. So 360 minus 70.5, which is, well, if we took 60 away, we'd get 300, another 10 is 290 with a 0.5289.5. Or you can do that on your calculator. So calculate the x-coordinates of the points where the graph cuts the x-axis. Well, the first one would be at 70.5 and the second one 
We're just checking it makes sense in the diagram, 289.5. So these are the two required x-coordinates.